There are essentially five different dimensioning schemes that you can use to locate a hole feature in your model. Let's take a look at them. So to start off creating the hole, I'm going to click the hole command and I'll open up the placement tab. Right now you can't see the different dimensioning schemes. So I'm going to pick a placement surface to begin with. And then we have this drop down list that shows you the five schemes. And for the first one, I'm going to use coaxial. Just like the name implies, it's going to be centered on an axis. So for placement, you're going to select the placement surface like I just did. And then you can hold down the control key and select a datum axis in your model. Let me select co coaxial. And there it is located in the model. And for simplicity, let's go ahead and change the diameter dimension. And I'm going to right click on the depth drag handle and just choose to next. So I'm sort of like setting up a flange here in my part. And I'm going to cancel out of that just to show you that you don't need to choose coaxial first. So just like before, I'm going to start off the hole tool. And you don't have to open up the placement tab, but I'm just doing that to help show you. And I'm going to select the axis first. You'll notice that it automatically selects the coaxial option. Hold down the control key, select the placement surface. I always like to adjust the depth. Generally, I don't like a blind depth unless I really want a blind depth. And then hit the check mark. So there we have our first hole created using the coaxial scheme. For the next one, I am going to create a hole using a linear dimensioning scheme. So let's start off the hole tool. Again, I'll open up the placement tab so that you can see it. And I will select the placement surface. And then you have offset references collector. And you can either click in the collector. You can also hold down the right mouse button and choose offset references collector. And in Creo Parametric 4.0, you have these green diamonds that you can use to drag to what you want to dimension the hole to. Let me go and reduce the diameter. I have a giant diameter. It's kind of making it confusing to see. And again, change the depth option. And in versions prior to Creo Parametric 4.0, instead of green diamonds, you had white squares and in Creo Parametric 5.0 and later you have these yellow circles for your drag handles but again you can drag to what you want a dimension to sort uh, such as this datum plane or with the offset references collector still active if you hold down the control key then you can select the other reference so you have either of the two different methods for choosing what you want a dimension to and let's go and create smaller diameter and change some of these distances and you can change those distances either in the uh, graphics area by clicking on the dimension or you can change them in the placement tab now also be aware instead of being offset from one of those references you could choose to align to the references which essentially gets rid of the dimension and let me choose a value of four over there hit the check mark and then you can see that small diameter hole that I created. For the next hole, I'm going to use the radial and diameter dimensioning schemes. And this is very common when you are trying to define a bolt circle diameter. Uh, so for example, let's say I want to create a bunch of holes around this disc and I want to use a an angular dimension to control them. That's when you would use the diameter or radial schemes. So let me click on the hole tab again, select my placement surface and I'll go to the placement tab and from the drop down list. First, I'll use the diameter scheme and with the diameter scheme for the offset references. You're going to select some axis and a plane. And so the axis will help define the bolt circle diameter. For example, I want to use a value of, let's use nine. And again, let's right click on the depth drag handle to change to two next. I don't want this dimension in there. Change the diameter here. And also now we have a dimension. So for example, maybe I want this clocked at 30 degrees with respect to that datum plane front that I selected. And you'll notice I've been selecting a lot of datum planes. You can also select flat planar surfaces if you have them instead. 
And so there I have the diameter scheme. You'll notice I have a diameter dimension in here. The only difference between the diameter schemes and the radial schemes is the toggling of this dimension from radius to diameter. But a lot of times you'll see diameter for a bolt circle diameter. And the nice thing about this is once you've created the hole, hey, let's go ahead and pattern it. And here it gives you the dimension pattern where you could choose this as a dimension to increment. But the easy thing to do is to change the type of pattern from dimension to axis. Pick the axis you want to pattern about. Click the button to pattern through 360 degrees and then type in the number of instances you want. So for example, here I'm getting eight instances, maybe I want 10 instances or 12 instances. And I can turn off individual instances using the preview dots. All right, for the last dimensioning scheme, I'm going to change to a different model. Let's turn off our datum plane and axis display. You'll notice I have a bunch of points in the model, and I create these using a sketch. I will click on the sketch and edit definition just to show you that what I've done here is located a few of these points in the sketch and I use the point command from the datum group, not the point command from the sketching group. The point command from the sketching group will create points that only exist in the sketch. Whereas if you use the point command from the datum group, that creates actual datum points in the model. So just something to be aware of, a little bit of a distinction there. So for the additional dimensioning scheme, I am going to create a hole and I can select a datum point to locate it. And that is the only reference that's necessary. Let me change my depth. If I go to the placement tab, you'll see that the placement is on a point. You do have the ability if you want to, to pick an additional surface to define the location of the hole in Creo Parametric 4.0 and later in Creo Parametric 3.0 and earlier you would just select a point and the point had to be an on surface point just a few technical things to mention what i mean by an on surface point is a point that's located on a surface okay so i have my hole created located on the point and the nice thing about locating it on a point you might have noticed in that sketch feature i have four different points here so with the hole still selected i can right mouse click and from the mini toolbar choose the pattern command and from the drop down list choose the point option select the sketch that contains the points and i find this to be a very quick and easy way to define a set of mounting holes for a pattern i hope you enjoyed this video for more information please visit www.creowindchill.com if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded thank you very much